So in this video we will discuss about the buffer capacity. Okay, what is buffer with the help of example you will easily understand. So the capacity as you guys all know which means power to bear. Okay, buffer the pH. For example, I'm having the container and this is the buffer solution and the pH is for example of the buffer solution is 5.5 okay I'm if, if I'm adding the hydrogen which means I'm, I'm adding the acid so after adding the hydrogen there will be no change okay if I'm adding again hydrogen okay so there will be also not change so this is the buffer capacity this is the buffer capacity which is like bearing the pH and because of adding hydrogen or OH ions which is basic if you are adding both of them so the pH will not change pH will not change so there's a changement not to change the bearing that is called the buffer capacity for example I'm having another term which is buffer action what is buffer action which action like pH bearing like due to like what things the pH is beard which what is the action behind that so this is due to due to involved of common ions common ions and principle okay this I will be telling you about in the next chapter the in very detail so in this video we'll discuss about the common ions for example I'm having the buffer solution okay for example this is the buffer solution container in this I'm having the CH3 acetic acid which is like it is uh, basically that is the CH3 and COOH this is the basically this is partially ionized this is partially ionized because this is a weak electrolyte or weak acid and it is partially ionized into the hydrogen plus in ch3 c double o okay and i have added a like ch3 c double o n a this is basically full ionized so I'm only writing the product which is CH3 OO plus N A this is the buffer solution for example okay this is a partial ionized okay or the less ionized because of this is a weak electrolyte and this is this was the strong electrolyte which is which is whole ionized okay for example I'm adding the hydrogen into this okay so this hydrogen will react with the acetic acid okay and reaction will ba move backward and this product will be formed okay so ionized to the unionized okay for example I'm adding the OH I'm adding the OH okay so OH will react with the H and that will make water that will make water okay and this water will react with the CH3 C double OH and reaction will become forward and this product will be formed again okay so why the OH ion and H ion is not reacting with this because this is this is full ionized okay full ionized and this was the partially ionized so that's why OH and OH OH and the H ions is reacting with that so the reaction is becoming forwarding in the backwarding so this is the maintaining of the pH this is the maintaining of the pH and that we are calling as the buffer solution because there is like no changes basically occurred okay for this that is called the buffer solution for example I have the next term next term which is buffer range what is buffer range buffer range is basically the buffer limit limit for example, I'm having the pH 1, 2, and 3. 
this is the for example i'm adding the one hydrogen the ph not changed i'm having the two hydrogen i'm adding into the buffer solution the ph is not getting changed i'm adding in the three hydrogen the ph is not changed for example i'm having i have added the four hydrogen so the changement of ph will occur changement of ph will occur this is the range which is changed and this is the no change so this is the buffer range or this is the limit which is constant okay one two three if i'm adding the four hydrogen that will change so this is the this is the ph range and this is the changement of the ph so this was about the buffer capacity buffer reaction and buffer range in the next video we'll discuss about the hydrolysis of salt which consists of hydrolysis of salt and hydration of salt that we'll be discussing in the next video